If you woke up this morning thinking, how can I help the war effort, then you're a man's man. Whether you are an ally of freedom or on the axis of evil, you need to know your role in this section. The backbone of any infantry section is the rifleman. He takes initiative and is the first line of defense and offense. Watch as this soldier uses the Springfield rifle. He has a single, bolt-action firing rate. He can even adjust his sights by pressing X and scrolling with his mouse wheel. Now he can hit the enemy at even greater distances. His buddy with the M1 Garand has an edge. Within a fraction of a second, his gas-operated clip feeds another bullet into the chamber allowing for a semi-automatic firing rate, thus equaling the firepower of several men armed with the standard Springfield. But don't let the M1 fool you. It has its weaknesses. Close quarters are the friend of any submachine gunner, like the German MP40, so it's a good idea to keep them at bay with your rifle, which is better suited for ranges of 100 to 300 meters. Each rifleman should familiarize himself with his pack. The standard kit carries smoke grenades, some in the toxic phosphorus variety, frag grenades, field dressing, an entrenching tool or shovel, and a personal sandbag. If you're lucky, like our British friends with the Lee Enfield, you'll also find yourself with a sidearm. But let's not forget, one of the most vital tools of the rifleman. No, not the camera, Johnny. It is the canteen. It's important for every soldier to stay hydrated in order to build up stamina. Ah, refreshing. Like a mother at your bedside during the flu season, the medic is here to take care of you. Although they are equipped with a rifle, the greatest contribution to this section is sticking a syringe into your sorry rear end. It's filled with morphine and gives you just the right jolt to pick you up. Unlike your mother, don't expect the medic to kiss your boo-boo after healing you with a field dressing. Good, all better. Now back to the fight, soldier. The beast of the pack, the automatic rifleman, carries a fully automatic machine gun designed to rip enemy sections to shreds and use the kit wisely to provide suppressive covering fire. If you're lucky enough to have such a whopper, find yourself a nice bunker, window, or bush. Now look for the enemy in trenches, defilades, open fields, or down streets. Think, where would I hide if I were the enemy and POW! Strike them dead with a hail of bullets only you can provide. Don't expect to look down the sights while hip firing. You would have better luck playing a round of 18 blindfolded. Instead, walk up to a low wall or prone on the ground and press C to deploy the bipod. Shoot in short bursts and sway from side to side, like slow dancing with your sweetheart. If needed, you can always change your firing rate by pressing the middle mouse button. The marksman is the assassin of the battlefield. They hide in the shadows, in bushes, or high up in the building. Armed with both a scoped rifle and a set of binoculars, he is best suited to be the reconnaissance arm of the section. You'll be sure to reach legendary marksman status after taking out high-value targets, such as section leads, automatic riflemen, light anti-tanks, and the elusive enemy snipers. When you hear the tracks or the roaring engine of an enemy vehicle, be sure to ask for a helping hand. As a good neighbor, your section's light anti-tank gunner will come to your aid. An enemy tank can make quick work of any infantry section. The LAT needs to be your David against the Goliath, that is the enemy armor. They'll need to set aside their rifle in order to launch a few AT rounds. Traversing the battlefield are a wide range of vehicles. It is important to know what each of them are, as well as their weaknesses. Take the transport for instance. It is lightly armored and can be easily pierced by a rocket. Better yet, a hit to the fuel storage will light it up like the 4th of July. An armored vehicle, like the Panther, is thickly armored. Don't expect just any shot to get through. Angle around so that they will hit perpendicular to the slanted armor. Get in close, within 100 meters, and position yourself to strike the top where the armor is weakest. If a mobilization is your goal, a well-placed shot to the rear could hit the engine, or you could hit the tank on the side against the tracks. If you're lucky, that rear shot might strike the fuel storage and transform the tank to a crematorium. Alongside the rocket launcher, the kit is also equipped with an anti-tank mine. 
When possible, place these charges on the vehicle itself, like so. This not only helps damage internal components, but is necessary for the magnetic variants. Like butter on toast, the radio man should stay near the section leader. This allows for regroup calls to be placed and, more importantly, updated. Binoculars, found amongst the standard gear, and the importance of his radio, enable him to act as a second in command if directed by the section leader. He can use the larger line of sight to direct the section and call out points of interest. Second only to the light anti-tank gunner, a combat engineer provides another infantry response to vehicle threats. But if danger isn't your middle name, the engineer can use their repair tool to fix up friendly vehicles safely away from the front. Don't expect to fix up the chassis. That heavy duty job can only be done by a repair station back at the main base or by one built at an FOB. When knocking seems too polite, be sure to get up close and personal and place a sap charge. This preemptive explosive is great before the rest of your section rushes into breach. Keep the satchel charge handy because it can also be used to take out the radio of an enemy FOB. Outfitted with a grenade launching attachment, the grenadier can discharge fragmentation rounds further than even Babe Ruth could hit them. Best used against dead space, watch as they hit enemies through windows, doorways, and on the other side of a wall or berm. Within 400 meters, the Grenadier sets the range and launches a test round, after which he can make adjustments. The best Grenadiers will get them with the first round, but practice makes perfect with this finely tuned Undertaker. Like the heavy rains of April, the light mortar can rain down high explosives on any position. Spaced out rounds can provide just the right covering fire for an infantry section as it advances on an entrenched enemy position. Unlike a mortar pit at a forward operating base, the light mortar is limited to around 240 meters. In order to operate, find a flat area of ground to go prone. Press C and move the mouse up and down to range to your desired mark. After launching around, make sure to alternate the distance by a few meters, and by a degree or two for maximum effect. Use the binoculars to observe the mortar splash and make adjustments as they land. Knowing the role of each kit in a section, and how to use it on the battlefield, will stop any enemy cold. Take this knowledge with you as you join the front lines.